you're new to the electrical trade or you're thinking about joining, it's going to be very crucial for you to learn how to read one of these. I'm going to take you guys step by step on how to read a tape measure. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's get into the video. Let's go. Welcome to my channel YouTube. It's your boy Steven and in today's video we're going to discuss how to read a tape measure. If you're new to the trade or you're thinking about joining the trade, it's going to be very, very important for you throughout your early career to know how to read a tape measure. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't know how to read one when I first started. Um, I know how to read it now, perfectly fine, but when I first started, you know, I, it was a little challenging for me. It's very, very simple. I'm going to just go over an easy way that works for me. There's different ways that you can do it, but this is the way that kind of helped me get a better understanding of it. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's get into the video. Let me stop all this talking. Let's get to the whiteboard. Let's go. Starting off, my goal is to make this as simple as possible for you. Um, I've marked all 16 lines. So if you guys did not know, there are 16 lines, which makes an inch. Uh, so we have all of our fractions rolled out. The goal is to break it down for you guys to have a better understanding of how to read it. One thing that worked for me with it being 16 lines and an inch, all of your odd numbers are gonna always be the same. That was just something that kind of helped me. So one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, and 15 will always be the same. So if anybody asks you to cut something at 13 16 it's not anything that you need to break down. If you would like to, you can even count all the way till you get to 13, and that will be 13 16 so Whatever that odd number might be, that will always be the same. So. That's just something for you guys to remember to kind of help keep it as simple as possible for you. Now, the ones that we're going to simplify will be the even numbers. So starting off, we'll start with two sixteenths. Now, one thing you should know is anything you do to the top number, you have to do to the bottom number. So we're going to simplify two sixteenths. So half of two is one and half of 16 is eight. You know, we only brought it down one time. Uh, now we'll go to four sixteenths. Four sixteenths is actually a quarter inch, but I'm going to show you guys how we get to a quarter inch. Half of four is two, half of two is one. So we broke that down twice, and we're gonna do the same thing with 16. Half of 16 is eight, half of eight is four. That's how you come up with quarter inch. Very, very simple, not hard at all, but that's how you come up with that number. Now we'll go to six sixteenths. Half of six is three, half of 16 is eight. That's how you get your three eighths number. Now we're gonna to go to eight sixteenths. Eight sixteenths is actually half an inch. I'm gonna show you guys how to break that one down. Half of eight is four, half of four is two, and half of two is one. So we broke that down three times. Now we had to do the same thing to 16. Half of 16 is eight, half of eight is four, and half of four is two. That's how we come up with half inch. 10 sixteenths, half of 10 is five, half of 16 is eight. That's how we get our five eighths. 12 sixteenths, half of 12 is six, half of six is three. Now we're gonna break down 16 twice. Half of 16 is eight, half of eight is four. That's how you get your three quarters. 14 sixteenths, half of 14 is seven, half of 16 is eight. That's how we get our seven eighths. Now that's how you're gonna break it down, just like that. This is the way that kind of worked for me. Like I said, there's definitely other ways you can do it, but this is the way that kind of helped me get a better understanding of reading the tape measure. Like I said, I didn't know how to read it, but once I understood and kind of simplified everything, it all made sense to me. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you got a better understanding on how to read a tape measure. Um, like I said, even if you haven't started in the trade yet, it is something that's kind of good for you to learn already before you start, just to kind of have you know, a little advantage from when you're starting. You're not as green as I was. <laughs> but um, definitely reading the tape measure is gonna be helpful for you in your career, whether it's you cutting conduit or whether it's you bending conduit, whatever it might be, you're gonna have to know how to read a tape measure. Also, I wish the best of luck to all of you new apprentices out there. I get a lot of comments of people saying that they're getting ready to start the trade. So best of luck to you guys. I would definitely say enjoy the journey. Take it one day at a time, you know, um, just enjoy the process, man. You're only going to be an apprentice one time and then one day you're going to be the big dog. So enjoy it uh, and just, you know, take everything in, keep studying, keep working hard and all your hard work will definitely pay off. Also, I want to give a special shout out to my master electrician. He is the one who inspired this video. So thank you, Eric. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for the idea. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the opportunity. I tell you this all the time. Um, but yeah, he thought it would be a good idea to share with the up and coming electrical apprentices on how to read a tape measure. So like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you all again for all of the support. I truly appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. We out.